Growth can be a major stumbling block in Ebony. Growing fast and growing efficiently is something that can give some players quite a bit of a hard time. So here, we're going to give some tips and guidance to help you on your way. Hi, and welcome to Red Ebony. I am Akayasha. You can call me Aka. And in this video, we're going to be looking at ways to help you grow faster. Okay, let's get right into it. For you to grow in Ebony, there are three plus one requirements that you need to meet in order to grow. You understand why I say it like that in a second. The first requirement that you need to meet, resources. The second one that you need, speed ups. And the third one that you need is research. How quickly you can grow will depend on how quickly you can meet each of these requirements. And we're going to go through each of them one by one. First off, resources. There are three main ways for you to get resources in Ebony. That's through gathering, through your in-city resources, and through bosses. So, how do you make your resource intake from these three sources quicker? In terms of gathering, first off, you need good generals like Queen Jindioc, Constance, and others that will increase the amount of resources that you can bring in. You also need to work on your gathering speed. This is particularly important for people at the early stages of the game. Also, you want to make sure that you have a good gathering regime to help you with your growth. For example, I do this and I know a lot of players do this, but when you log off the game for the night, you're going to bed, before you do that, you make sure that you send out your, all your tiles to resource spots so that they gather while you sleep. That is one thing that is very easy to do and will make sure that you're taking in as much resources as you can when you are off the game. In addition, you can also do that during the day when you have long periods of time where you are off the game. For your in-city resources, it's really simple. Build your tiles, level up your tiles, get your in-city resource speed as high as possible and keep going with that. In addition, you want to make sure that you always have your production buffs on. Whether you're using the standard one or you are using an eight hour advanced one, as you see here, you need to make sure that you have these running all the time. In terms of bosses, the first thing is that you need to make sure that you're hitting the right bosses that will give you the resources that you need. For that, you're looking at regular bosses from B11 upwards. Anything below B11, that's B1 to B10, will not give you resources. The event bosses are the main focus that you will have when it comes to getting resources from bosses. These are exceptionally much better than the regular bosses for getting resources. You have your golems, your witches, warlords, and turtles. In particular, Yimmers are absolutely the best event boss monsters to be hitting for resources. These come up on Thursdays and Fridays. So if your focus is to increase the resources that you get from bosses, you need to make sure that you're as active as possible during those two days to gain the most benefits that you can from bosses. In addition to the types of bosses that you're hitting, you need to make sure that you are hitting your bosses with generals that have double drops. We are talking about your Cleopatras and your Baybars. It is something that is very important and will help boost your growth ability from bosses. Aside from these, any general that you're using that doesn't have double drops, you need to make sure that they are fully equipped with one, the logbook, and also a double drop ring. If you don't set up your rally joining generals like this, you are essentially hindering the growth that you can get from bosses. So be sure to keep that in mind. Aside from the things that we've mentioned here, if you have family members in quotes, those will also help you with getting resources quickly. But that's not something that we're going to cover in this video, just mentioning it here. Next up, we're going to talk about speed ups. How you can get speed ups quickly. Bosses, for the most part, will be the primary source 
for speed ups that you will have. Regular buses B1 to B17 will all give you speed ups. You also get speed ups from event buses. Depending on the event bus that you're hitting, the lower level buses, level one and level two, some will give you common speed ups while others will give you healing speed ups. You need to know the difference between the two. But for most event buses, once you're hitting them at the higher levels, level three and upwards, you will always get speed ups from them. But hands down, the best event boss to be hitting for speed ups is Kerberos. Kerberos at all levels is absolutely the best boss for speed ups. So you need to make sure that you're hitting as many of them as you can so that you can accumulate the speed ups that you need for your growth. Now that we've talked about resources and speed ups, it is absolutely crucial that we talk about what is arguably the most important event in the game. And that is the resource consumption event. A lot of old school players already know this, but without a doubt, if you are trying to grow quickly in Ebony, you need to be making sure that you are actively participating and going as far as you can in the resource consumption event. In my case, I try my best to limit using my resources outside this event. I do all I can to save up as many resources as I can so that once this event comes around, I make sure that I use as many of those saved up resources during this event. And part of the reason why it is so important is that you get materials in the event, which are important for other things. You get stamina. Stamina is such a crucial item in this game and the resource consumption event is one of the best sources for you to get stamina, period. You also get resources from this event and you get a ton of speed ups. I don't think I can stress this enough, but it is absolutely important for your growth if you want to grow quickly and efficiently that you are maximizing your returns from this event. Just looking at what I have right here, I've been able to clear the 5 billion mark right now. For clearing 5 billion, excluding all the other levels, right here, I get 220 days worth of speed ups. The resource consumption event will be the single biggest source of speed ups that you can have. Aside from the resource consumption event, we also have the speed up consumption event, which comes after. There you consume speed ups and you get a certain amount of resources back. It's a loop cycle that will feed into itself and will help you grow quicker as you move along. If you have any questions regarding strategies for these events, feel free to drop a comment down below. The next requirement for growing quickly in Ebony is research. And if we come to the academy here, in the advancement tab, this is where you will have most of the research that applies to speeding up your growth in Ebony. We won't go through the full list of research technologies that you need to go through here, but highlighting the main two that you absolutely need to focus on to improve the speed of your growth. The first one is typography. This research reduces the time required for you to do research in the academy. This research, together with the advanced levels of typography, are absolutely important if you are looking to grow quickly in Ebony. You need to make sure that you are pushing these as far as you can until you max them out. The second most important research that you need to do is construction. Construction reduces the amount of time required to build your buildings. You need to make sure that you are doing your best to max this out every time. And of course, you take it all the way down and complete the advanced levels of the technology. Once you've been able to push these as much as you can, then of course, you can also focus on other key technologies that you need, things like production speed 
and gathering. Finally, here is where the plus one comes in. For you to do research, you need gold. Lots and lots of gold. Gold is also very important for developing your generals when it comes to gathering. You need gold to star your generals. You need gold for the gear. You need gold to cultivate your generals. Though not a direct requirement involved in your growth, gold can very easily become a limiting factor that can slow down your growth if you don't pay enough attention to it. So, how do you get gold quickly? One of the best ways to get gold in the game is by doing Vikings. Aside from other event bosses that you could get gold from, Vikings are without a doubt the best source of gold in the game. Aside from Vikings though, a very underappreciated source of gold in Ebony right now is the Golden Goblin. The Golden Goblin is only available during the event period, but for each Golden Goblin you hit, you get 2 million gold. And if you use a double drop general like Baybars or Cleopatra, you can very easily double that and get 4 million gold for a goblin. If you are hunting these on a regular basis, it will significantly help your gold intake and will also speed up your growth process. Now that we have covered the 3 plus 1 requirements for growth, one common pitfall that a lot of players get into is trying to build everything. This on its own is not inherently bad. There are some merits to it, but if you are looking to grow quickly and efficiently, it is by far better for you to follow the requirements that you need for growing your buildings. Each building has prerequisite requirements and focusing on meeting those prerequisites is without a doubt the quickest and shortest path for you to take to grow in Ebony. So as a bit of advice, I would say that you focus your energies on meeting the prerequisite requirements for your buildings and you also make sure that you are paying attention to upgrading your academy while you are looking at the buildings that you need. The academy is one building that you can absolutely not afford to neglect. With all that being said, growth in Ebony is still something that is very challenging. In addition to growth, development in Ebony is also very challenging. Yeah, those are two separate things. And if you want to have a better idea of how to streamline your focus between growth and development, be sure to check out this next video where I talk about the key focus points that you need to have in order to be good at both aspects of that. Thank you very much. Aka signing out.